I don't even want to say this, Robes. <laughs> We're 10 weeks away from Christmas. Oof. Christmas. And if you haven't gotten your stuff already, you might be behind. Yes, yeah, so we talk about the supply chain that's backed up, ships with cargo sitting at sea. And right now, President Biden is facing, well, some criticism, but also a lot of calls to do something to speed this up. That's right. So President Biden met with leaders of the nation's two biggest ports to gin up a 24-7 push to get those holiday gifts off the boats and into stores on time. So joining us to give us some insight on if this plan is actually going to work is the executive director of one of those ports, the port of Los Angeles, Gene Soroka. Gene, thank you for being with us. So you meet with President Biden. He, he puts out this plan. He's pushing for a 24-7 operation. Can you do it? And do you think it's going to make the difference? Yes, we can, and it will. We're ready to go. Our ship productivity is already up 50% over more normal times before the surge began last summer. And every container ship that comes into the Port of Los Angeles is averaging more than 11,000 loading and unloadings. That's the best of the world today. Best in the world, but give us an idea right now of, we, we keep hearing about supply chain backed up. So, so just put it into real numbers here for our viewers. How backed up are you in terms of ships that are waiting uh, to be unloaded and how many containers are waiting to be uh, unloaded compared to normal times, if you will. TJ, in normal times, we would have no ships waiting. They mm -hmm. come in, they have appointments, work, load, unload, and head back to Asia. Today, we've got more than 60 ships waiting for those appointment times, and that would be about two weeks worth of work. So, realistically speaking, we're in pretty good shape because the American importers started bringing in their Christmas and holiday goods back in June, two months ahead of a normal schedule. All right, and Gene, for a lot of people, I mean, you've been watching this process all happen throughout the pandemic, and, and it's a head scratcher in terms of just people understanding why. How did this happen? Where did things go wrong? How are we this backed up? Amy, this is the power of the American consumer on display. We're buying more products than ever. During the pandemic, many of us have worked from home, we bought new couches, refrigerators, exercise equipment. I started playing golf for the first time in 15 years, bought a new set of clubs and shoes. We're all buying more. Okay, okay congrats on the clubs and <laughs> shoes there. <laughs> but Gene, help us here. Do you have a system that would allow you um, to get to the Halloween stuff first or get to the Thanksgiving stuff first? Are, are, you, are you having some kind of a process where you're, you're waiting maybe to get to the Christmas stuff. Are you taking it in order, if you will? We're trying to segment cargo as best we can, TJ. And the National Retail Federation said last week that 30 days ahead of Halloween, we've already broken the all-time record for sales. So to my point, these retailers in the U.S. have been really savvy, bringing cargo earlier than normal. But it's that small family-owned business or the folks that really rely on this holiday season that we've got to focus on and get this cargo moving as fast as we can. All right, Gene, I want your expert opinion. When should we start holiday shopping? Today? <laughs> Amy, let's do it a little bit early. Look online, see how long it's going to take to deliver the goods. Maybe this weekend, let's go to the store and see what the products look like so we can get holiday gifts for friends and family. I think we'll be in good shape, but a couple days, couple weeks early is a good move right now. Well, we appreciate all of that. We're, we're rooting for uh, you and we're uh, rooting for our gifts to get there on time. Executive Director of the Port of Los Angeles, a very busy man these days. Gene Soroka, thank you so much for your time. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.